Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Brianna and this is for Pause in a Book. I make book and lifestyle related content so if that's something that you're interested in make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below. Today we are doing a book haul. Yes, I am wearing the same shirt as my last video. I'm bulk filming today because I am actually moving all of my bookshelves and reorganizing my office. That was my like birthday present was to get some new furniture for my office. So I'm trying to bulk film everything and I couldn't be bothered to go change. I have a book haul for you. We're back to our regularly scheduled monthly book hauls, I guess. We're also gonna be talking about our TBR tackle. I have, I think 18 books for you today, which is a lot for one month, but I have some that we're taking off of the list. So our current starting number for the TBR tackle is 263 books. If you're new to my channel, you don't know what that number is. That's my unread owned physical TBR. That means I own 263 books that I have not read. That's a lot of books. I don't know that that is 100% an accurate number because I've been trying to add them to a Goodreads shelf and I'm not at that number yet. So I don't know, but that's the number we're gonna go off of until I know for certain otherwise. Hopefully once I get everything reorganized, I can recount. The first thing I wanna talk about is the books that I read in the month of July that will come off of the 263 number. And that's these books here. I will link my July wrap up if you wanna hear my thoughts on these, but we're taking six off of our 263 number. So we're gonna be starting at 257 books today. Is that number gonna go up? Yeah, it is. I have five books to talk to you about that I have already read. They are part of like the ones that I read in July or I bought a physical copy of a book that I read via ebook um, or audio. So we'll talk about that. I have The Sea Witch by Katie Robert. Whenever I see these on Pango, I try to pick them up. I've got almost all of them now, maybe four. I think I'm, I think I'm missing the book number two and book number three. But other than that, I should have all of them. Um, so this is the fifth one. This is the Ursula and Ariel and... Prince Eric. This book I think I gave three and a half stars to. I read it back in June um, and I enjoyed it a lot. It wasn't my favorite in the series but I had a good time with it. Then the other books I did read in the month of July we have Finley Donovan is Killing It. Gave it five stars. Loved it. One Night on the Island by Josie Silver. Didn't love this one as much. We'll probably be unhauling it and selling it on Pango. We Need to Do Something by Max Booth III. This is a weird book. And The Wedding Crasher by Mia Sosa will probably make a favorite of the year. Not gonna lie. So those did not count against any of my numbers, but the rest of them will. I have my book of the month books. In July, I did get three books. Uh, I almost always get three books. I shouldn't. I don't need to get three books. I don't need these books, but for some reason I keep doing it. I need to do like a try a chapter tag or some sort of like unhaul or like a, am I still interested in these type of video with my book of the month? Cause I have a lot. Um, so we have Upgrade by Blake Crouch. This book I will be reading in August. It did make my um, Magical Readathon TBR, not my official one because I clearly don't know how to read the prompts, but it was one of the ones that I had to change out for it. Um, I've heard some really good things about this book, so I'm really excited about it, but essentially I've, but I've really loved all of Blake Crouch's books that I have read so far. Um, A Dark Matter and Recursion were both five star reads and favorites of the year when I read them. So I have high hopes for this. This one is about um, like changing DNA sequences to basically make them superhuman, like making them faster, smarter, stronger, that kind of thing. Uh, so I definitely think this is gonna be good. Blake Crouch has this really interesting way of blending like sci-fi and this like thriller mystery aspect to it. Um, so I'm, I'm high of high hopes. Number 259 is going to be Take My Hand by Dolan Perkins Valdez. Uh, this is actually historical fiction, but it sounded really, really interesting. It takes place in Montgomery, Alabama in 1973, and it is a really in-depth look at the post-segregation era um, in Alabama, and it um, follows a young black nurse and these um, kids that um, come to this clinic for welfare and trying to get help. Uh, and I think it's gonna be a really, really interesting commentary. The cover is also beautiful, 
beautiful. Um, so very excited about this one. And then 259 is the one that I'm scared of, but that is The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. This is the newest uh, Riley Sager book. And uh, I've heard some real bad things about this. I've heard like some decent things too, uh, but I definitely don't think it's gonna be on par with something like Lock Every Door or Home Before Dark. Um, I haven't read Survive the Night either. So um, like, I don't know, I'm just, I'm scared of his recent books. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. I would like to read this one this summer just because like it feels like a summer thriller, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I am trying to read a bunch of books this month, um, but I really want to try the audiobook for this because I really like the audiobooks for Lock Every Door and uh, Home Before Dark. However, I am like on hold, it's on hold for like months at my library. So I have a couple of romances. I have the, rom uh, the Romance Recipe by Ruby Barrett. This was one of my most anticipated reads of the third quarter, second quarter, third quarter. Yeah, because it came out in July. Um, that's how that works. <laughs> and this is a sapphic romance between a head chef and the restaurant owner, I believe, or the like maitre d' maybe, restaurant owner. Yeah, Grumpy Sunshine. I have really high hopes for this, but cooking romances have really let me down recently so we'll see what happens okay and then we have for 261 we have the worst best man by mia sosa uh i read the wedding crasher like i said this month and absolutely loved it so i immediately went and picked up this isn't technically the first book in the series um but i think it might be in the same world but technically on goodreads like they're shelved as standalones so I don't know. That was actually 262. I don't know how to count. It's fine. So 263 is the second book in the Finley Donovan. Finley Donovan knocks him dead. This, I can't tell you at all what this is because it's 100% a spoiler for the end of the first book. The first book ended on the biggest cliffhanger ever. And so I immediately went and bought this off of Pango. So I'm very excited to read this one. Um, and we'll see if I can get to it this month. A couple of books that I will definitely not get to this month are some high fantasy books. So we have The Final Strife by Sara El Arafi. Um, I could be pronouncing that wrong. I'm very sure I am. This book is the first book in an epic high fantasy trilogy um, that is inspired by Ghanaian folklore. And I, I want to say like Arabian mythology, Arabian myths and it's got it's about a revolution and uh don't know much about it but i saw this and i immediately was like yes i need to read this this book is about three people one of them has been growing up in the resistance she watched her family like brutally murdered um another one is part of the royal family um and like her mother is the most powerful ruler in the empire and then another one is um moves through the world unseen by the upper classes so she knows what it means to be invisible but invisibility has its uses. Could work for an R fantasy for one of the big awards for like the revolutions, um, even though I technically have a book for that, but um, I definitely wanna read this one as well. Then I found Realm Breaker by Victoria Aviard. I know very little about this one. This is all Rise Fault. Um, Red Queen is getting a resurgence, I think because the second book in this series just came out. Um, and so like everyone started reading it. This is a YA fantasy. It has um, an immortal, an assassin, a sorceress, a pirate's daughter. That seems all fantastic, but is a chunker. It's gonna be a little while till I get to this one. Then we have On Rotation. I found this one on NetGalley actually originally um, right after I read The Queen of Hearts um, and this kind of has a similar feel to it in the sense that it's like medical school like young doctors kind of Grey's Anatomy the resident type of thing and I got denied for the arc or they left me on red like didn't approve or deny it just pending um and then I found it on Pango and so I picked it up once it came out this is about a Ghanaian American immigrant who goes to an elite medical school um and is like practicing to become a doctor then like life falls apart <laughs> and that's what happens in this book so I think it's gonna be really really good I've heard some really good things about it um and it's gonna be one of those like fun reads that I'm gonna want to read once the resident starts back up I think in September because I'll be watching it on a week-to-week -week basis and so this will be like my in between binge. <laughs> okay, this next one is actually Cassidy's Fault, and that's Ashes of the Sun by Django Wexler. Uh, this is a, I think a trilogy, but I think only the first two are out. And I was sold when it was explained as gay fantasy Star Wars. 
So it is a fantasy sci-fi horror blend um, where they essentially have lightsabers and one of the siblings is trying to save the Republic uh, or the Empire and one of them is trying to destroy it. Um, so hence the Star Wars. And apparently it's queer. So we're here for that. I'm very excited to read this one. I really wanted to pick it up immediately. But as you know, I am trying to read 33 books this month. So this big of one may not be on it. <laughs> We'll see by the end of the month. Then we have Long Live the Pumpkin Queen by Shay Earnshaw. I absolutely love The Nightmare Before Christmas. This is definitely going to be a book that I want to pick up during the spooky season. This will probably kick off my fall spooky season vibes probably next month. If we're being honest, Halloween is going to start on September 1st because I'm done with summer. It's just, it's, it needs to be fall. <laughs> this I think probably borders on middle grade, but essentially she has been crowned the pumpkin queen when she marries Jack. Uh, and then her and Zero, the dog, find a like hidden tunnel to this place called Dreamtown and shenanigans happen, I am sure. But um, it's re I think this is middle grade, honestly, if we're being honest. I have not loved Shay Earnshaw's writing in the past. However, I wonder if she would do middle grade really well because like the whimsy and the like atmosphere, I think she can definitely pull off Nightmare Before Christmas atmosphere it's just sometimes the the characters I don't like but we'll see if it's already like pre-made characters I didn't do this on purpose but the last two uh were because Kayla from Books and Lala talked about them so that kind of worked out um the first one is This Vicious Grace by Emily Theed this is a YA fantasy and basically the main character's gift from the gods is that she is supposed to magnify a partner's um of magical abilities um, but rather than that she actually kills every suitor she touches so kind of a standard YA trope Kayla really liked this book when she read it in one of her like weekly reading vlogs uh, so I have high hopes for this plus the cover is absolutely gorgeous and then another cover that is really pretty I bought it at Barnes and Noble when they were doing their hardcover um, sales like buy one get one half off um, I picked up the Bones of Ruin by Sarah Raleigh and this is about an, a magical African tightrope dancer and like she can't die she's immortal so um again another beautiful beautiful cover and uh we'll see how it goes but I have some really big books on here so I'm not really sure that these books specifically will be finished this month uh we may these may stay on the TBR for a bit however I am trying to read 33 books <laughs> in the month of August uh, with like a good chunk of those, but preferably like two thirds of them being on my, um, like off of my physical TBR. That's the number, cause I forgot to count them. Um, but that's where we're at, 270, that's a lot. Uh, but hey, if I could get 30 down, then we would be down to 240. Honestly, even if I could get down to 250, that would be fantastic. However, I know that my next book haul will probably be really large because it's my birthday. So I'm gonna spend money on books. I'm gonna get books. It's just a thing that's gonna happen. So that being said, I, would, I really just need to get this TBR down. We're gonna have to unhaul books. That's what's probably gonna happen. I will probably unhaul after I reorganize everything. So stay tuned for that. Um, and that's all I have for you today. Let me know if you are interested in any of these books or if you're excited to hear my thoughts on them and I'll talk to you down in the comments below. That's all I have for you today. If you're new here and you have not yet subscribed, there's a little red button that you can do so down below the video and all the other links to my social media will be in the description below if you would like from my friend on any other platform. Thank you all for watching and I will see you next time.